Hey there, health coach friends. I uh, hope you can hear me. i um, having a little bit of trouble with uh, Facebook tonight. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I wanted to jump in here tonight and let you know about our upcoming workshop, Step Into Your Leadership Style, uh, an event that Joy Ruffin and I are hosting on April 29th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I wanted to just give you an idea about why it's important. Why is it important to show up your best self? Get up, dress up, show up, as I like to call it. So if you're here with me live, make sure to go ahead and pop a comment so I know that you can hear me. Oh, I see I'm broadcasting live, okay. Hopefully it's picking up my audio. Uh, if someone could just give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Um, so why is it important to get up, dress up, show up? Because you want to attract your target market. Now, when I, I took a course by my good friend, Michelle Leota, uh, called Healthy Profit University. And the first, first assignment that we had to do was to write out, do a, do a workshop, do a exercise about how to find our target market. So I did that. And one of the admins, added on to the end of what I had written and she said, with someone that's been in your shoes, because a lot of us I think go into coaching or teaching because we have experienced something or we're passionate about something. So she knew that I had been through uh, chronic digestive disorders in the past. So that would be sort of a good um, hashtag line for me. So that kind of kind of became my signature, kind of became my my brand, so to speak, um, because, you know, there are so many people out there doing exactly what we do. You know, there are a dime a dozen. There's a million doctors, there's a million psychiatrists, there's a million car salesmen, there's a million health coaches. But what you need to do is to find the person that resonates with you, with your personality. And part of that is, you know, showing up authentically you know, I don't like to be scripted when I'm interviewed or when I'm going live. I like to just go through some ideas in my head and then jump on here and just, you know, just just talk from my heart and, you know, say the things that I think uh, will be of value to the people that I'm speaking to, depending on uh, the, you know, the venue that I'm at. And I want you all to really be successful. You know, now no one can be all things to everybody. So... What you really want to do is, you know, show up as your best self. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, five hours of hair and makeup. And, you know, for the gentleman, you know, there's lots of tips and tricks for you as well. Uh, you, want to sh you want to resonate with your target market. You want people to look at you and hear you and say, he or she is speaking my language. They're walking my talk. I want to work with them because those people are the most ready, willing, and able to pay you the money that you deserve to be paid. Like, yes, we are entrepreneurs. This is a business. We do deserve to get paid. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with showing up as your best self. You know, I like to I like to make a joke that I have, I have two, I have two styles and Joy would probably, probably laugh at this. Uh, she couldn't be here tonight, but, uh, she'll be jumping on, um, a different night. I, I have two looks. I have a homeless person and prom queen because, you know, when I get up and dress up and go out, you know, I do it to the nines, you know. For a long time, because of my digestive issues, I couldn't wear, you know, tight pants. I couldn't wear skinny jeans. So I always went out in skirts and dresses. And I was always, you know, the most overdressed person in the room. But, you know, I didn't care because I was comfortable. And that's, you know, I threw on a pair of heels. And, you know, if I'm going to put on makeup, you know, I'm going to put on, you know, the full face. And um, so, yeah, the Zoom face in five, you know, that is definitely uh, definitely a real thing that we're going to talk about. And even if you're not into makeup, um, I'm going to teach you some tricks about how you can uh, have some really easy things that you can do just to sort of enhance your features. Because that's what we're really trying to do is to enhance our features, especially now that we're doing everything um, 
online on Zoom, you know, it's, it's going to be a while probably before we're really able to talk one on one with, um, you know, our potential clients. Although I know in some places they are doing that. So all the more reason to, you know, learn how to get up, dress up, show up. Um, so one of my tips for you is to, and this goes for men as well, um, your background and your lighting and your clothing. Those are three very important elements of making videos and going live. Uh, you want to have a solid backdrop and I call this my Zoom studio and I'll give you a little bit more insight into that uh, later on. But uh, you also you wanna wear dark, solid clothing. Unless you have really, really dark hair and really, really dark features, then you would want to go with something a little bit lighter. But if you're going to wear white, if you don't have the proper studio lighting, you're going to be completely washed out. You're going to look like a ghost on camera. Um, and if obviously, if you're not um, doing hair and makeup, then uh, you know that's going to make a difference too. Um, I can go. Uh, I can make videos in lighter colors. I have done it before, but that's because I add a little bit of extra blush and darker lipstick and that, that I can get away with it. Cause, and I also do have a very dark background, as you can see. So that does work. But I normally recommend solid, medium to darker earth tones. Uh, my Zoom studio is actually freezing. So I like to throw on a jacket every now and then just to uh, kind of mix it up. Um, if, if, you know, and gentlemen, if you're, uh, you know, if you're not into putting on a little bit of blush, you know, you could just pinch your cheeks before you go live then, or make a video. You get a little bit of a, a little bit of that natural glow. Um, and yeah, go with the darker clothing and eat. If you don't have like a, like a, um, like a ring light, like I have behind me right now, uh, you should try to have a window behind your computer because natural light is always the best light. You know, if you can go outside, that's awesome. Uh, it doesn't always work, you know, in the winter, obviously when it's really hot and humid, you don't want to do it because then just poof, this is kind of like what's going on with my hair today because I just got it cut and uh, it is really humid in New Jersey for the first time in forever. I think yesterday it was winter and now today it's apparently um, August. So <laughs> those are some, uh, some recommendations I make for the gentlemen. Uh, for you ladies, now I'm going to share my number one most favorite secret product with you. Now this is huge. So I haven't really talked about this on social media, I don't think ever, but some of you might know that when I was 18, um, a couple of years ago, I was in a pretty serious accident and I had multiple injuries, skull fractures, um, I my inner ear was destroyed. I broke my collarbone. Um, I had I was leaking cerebral spinal fluid. But the the hardest of the injuries to really get over was I had Bell's palsy. I had facial paralysis. So here I am, a young adult woman, eighteen years old. The whole right side of my face completely paralyzed. I could not. You know, I couldn't cut my own food because I couldn't use my right arm and I couldn't eat or drink without, <clears throat> excuse me, always makes me a little emotional, without drooling on myself. So I have always been very, very self-conscious about my face. And as I would luckily, luckily the nerve was not severed. It was, there was only inflammation around it. So when the nerve in, when the inflammation around the nerve began to subside, I gradually got motion and feeling back in my face. Uh, but like when, if you've ever like split a wire, you know, when you try to like put it back together, if you've ever had people do DIY electrical work in their house, you know, there's always like that white li one light switch that like no one knows what turns on. Well, that's kind of what happened to my face, you know, when the nerves, once the muscles started to work again, they didn't necessarily work in the same way. Uh, my tear ducts are overactive. My eyes are either super dry or they're, my tears are running down my face. So I have to be careful about, you know, wearing mascara because I can come home looking like, you know, I got in a bar fight. Um, my, 
I always, my one right lid is, is, is kind of saggy. Um, so my eyelashes actually don't naturally go above my eyelid. So I think it looks sort of strange, especially when you're trying to make eye contact with people that, you know, I sort of just had this like saggy eyelid and no eyelash on that side. So eyelashes have sort of been my obsession. And, and I know it's definitely a thing now, like everyone's out there getting, uh, you know, getting their, getting their fake eyelashes, which, you know, as a health coach, I wouldn't do. I tried, uh, I really did. But because of my, uh, because of the paralysis, uh, the woman was nice enough to tell me that I would not be a good candidate for lash extensions. But let me tell you this, this product right here, Liquid Lash Extensions, not sure if you can see that, by Thrive Cosmetics, is absolutely as good, if not better, than artificial lashes. Not to mention, it's cruelty-free, completely all-natural vegan, no artificial colors, dyes, no animal testing, and it's way cheaper, and you don't have to keep touching it up like you do with uh, with fake eyelashes. And the same woman, who is a dear friend of mine, because this is, this is actually not waterproof, so if you are a crier, you know, this is definitely not for you. <laughs> unless you're just doing a quick video where you don't plan on crying. Uh, but because my eyelashes tear a ridiculous amount, uh, she recommended this product to me. And I remember her saying it in her adorable Russian voice. She owns a, uh, a high-end salon in my town. She says, she says, you buy butterfly, butterfly. So this is L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous L'Oreal. Oh no, I'm a liar, it's Maybelline. Voluminous waterproof hydroproof butterfly i believe it is l'oreal paris and it has this awesome brush so what it actually does is separates your eyelashes i don't know if you can kind of see that it so it fans them out so that you have this you know kind of open wide-eyed look instead of just having you know because the the thrive the fake lashes or they have their natural, all natural tea leaves, they will give you a very thick lash. Um, and then I like to take the voluminous and kind of spread them out so that I can really, uh, really express myself and see my eyelashes. And God forbid, should I sneeze or cry during a video, you won't see mascara running all down my face. So those are my free tips for you tonight. I'm going to look in the comments and see if anyone has any questions. If you do, go ahead and, uh, and pop them in the chat. I am actually looking at them on my phone because it's just easier to do it that way. All right. So make sure that you join us on April the 29th. Uh, Joy is gonna talk all about style. She is a style guru. Uh, I, I certainly am not, I have no idea, you know, what I should wear or what looks good on me when I go in public. I remember when I, uh, went shopping for a wedding dress, I just walked into the dressing room and my consultant came in and she said, what did you pick out? And I said, nothing. I said, I'll just stand here and you bring me things that you think will look good on me and, uh, we'll go from there. So I tried on about 200 dresses and, uh, I think the 201st, or I narrowed it down to two my two favorites and I walked around the bridal salon and asked every single person which they liked better and uh, luckily the one that they liked better I also liked better and ironically worked best for my uh, for my body type and for my style and it, it, it turned out amazing but I wouldn't uh, yeah I, I don't know if I would um, be able to do that again. Uh, maybe I would. I think I know a little bit more about myself now than I did back then. So yeah, so Joy is our style guru. She's going to help you to find the right fabric and the right look for your personal body type and your, your style. Uh, she likes to say that uh, she had, there's a range of people. There are pigeons and then there are eagles. And uh, everybody wants to be an eagle, especially if you're an entrepreneur, uh, like we all are. 
and then I'm going to be uh, jumping in with some some makeup tips and uh, some Zoom Studio tips, and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully you will join us. Uh, we have a lot to offer, so you can uh, go ahead and click the link that I posted, and it will take you right to the page to to um, register for that event. So it looks like that's all for tonight. If you are watching the replay and you have a question, make sure to hashtag replay. Mm. Oh, one more tip I wanted to share with you. Oh, and look at that lipstick. I didn't notice that on my uh, my Zoom test. So I have a uh, private Facebook group that is called Test. So all you have to do is create a group and have one person in it. You can have your mom, your sister, your best friend, you know, let them know, hey, I'm using this group to test out you know my background or my microphone or my lighting or I, I use it any anytime I go live I go in there first and I say a couple things kind of work the kinks out I do a lot of like <laughs> and uh, I know my sister doesn't uh, doesn't watch that so then I can switch over to the real live group and uh, no one no so no one sees it because it's just between you and your one friend that you put in there uh, this way you get a little more confidence too. You can practice, you know, the, before I went live for real, the first time I went live in my test group, probably like five or 10 times, just practicing what I wanted to say and listening to it back and, you know, making the proper adjustments so that by the time I went live in my group, I felt really, really confident. So if you're not confident on camera, if you're not sure about your lighting, your hair, your makeup, your backdrop, uh, make a test group and practice so that's going to be my homework for you i'm going to ask you all to go ahead and make a test facebook group invite one person not me somebody else <laughs> and test out your videos or your speaking or whatever you want to do for your business and report back to me and let me know how it goes because i'd love to <clears throat> i'd love to hear your feedback and i'd love to